I feel like you can tell by the title what this video is going to be. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to be ranking books that I've read based on their spice level. Here's the thing. I've been in a big creative rut like for this entire month, last month and even into February. I'm just feeling like very uninspired. So I asked you guys in my comments, I was like, what kind of videos do you want to see? And someone had suggested this. I can't, I couldn't find the comment this morning when I was trying to like track who it was, but it was on one of my like previous videos. They asked to see this and I was like, that sounds like a fun idea. I love doing tier ranking videos. And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. But here's the thing that I was like, how do I narrow down what books I do? Because I'm like, I don't want to choose them because then I'm kind of already like putting them in categories. So I asked over on my Instagram, I was like, give me, I did 2020, 21 and 2022. And I was like, give me a random number between one and however many books I read that year. I got so many freaking numbers. So then I was like, crap, I have like way more books than what I can even do with again. So then I'm like, how am I gonna do this again? So I gathered every single one of those books that had been submitted for all of those years. And then I did a random number generator. And I think I can fit about like 40 on the screens. I did leave out any like YA fantasy books I got because I only kind of wanted to leave it to romances because obviously like, why I should not have spice in it. So I didn't even want to include those. Okay, so here is my screen here. So I only did four categories for this one. Normally when I do my other two rankings, I normally do like five or six categories, but for this one, we only really needed four. So at the bottom here, we have vanilla, which is vanilla. I did have a clean category. However, I really don't read that many clean romances. So if I do have any clean ones, I'll put them down there and they're going to get a little soap emoji over top of them. And then next category up is mid. It's mid tier. You know, like it's good. It's solid. It delivers, but it's not like super memorable. You know, it's just very like middle of the ground, run of the mill spice. And then, oh my God, I never put the rent free. You know what here? Hold on. We need to find the little X. See, okay, rent free, as you can tell. It lives rent free in my head, self-explanatory. And then at the top, if you know this Lady Gaga video, you know the like amazing, astounding, never been done before, whatever, that is that category because that deserves the top one. And if they deliver on that, then thank you. Okay, so that's our categories. And I do just want to preface that these, wherever these books fall, even if one falls in like the vanilla category, that in no way, shape or form reflects my rating on it. I am going to have five star reads that fall into that low spice category. Cause for me, like, obviously I love my spice. I don't really like clean romances that much, but that's not like my main purpose of reading romance. It's not for the spice specifically. It's just like, if it has amazing spice, then it's like, okay, thank you. That was a nice surprise. But if it just has like middle of the run spice, I can still like love it and be five star read. So even if one gets down here in the vanilla category, that could still be a five star read for me. And even if one is up here in the Lady Gaga, amazing, fantastic, never done before kind of category, it could be like a three or four star read, you know? That's enough rambling and prefacing. Let's jump in here. So these are all of the books randomly that the random number generator gave me. So let's just pull up a few of them. So that way we don't have to jump back and forth. Okay, so first up we have Dirty Daddies by Jade West. Also, is this like off center? Is that better? Okay. Dirty Daddies by Jade West. I mean, I think you can tell by the title. <laughs> Here's the thing. I did not really like this book, but I do have to say there were some um, just absolutely insane scenes in this that it deserves the rent free. Yeah, Jade West has a certain writing style that I don't necessarily love. However, she does write Incredible Spice. Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. This one is also going to go in rent free. Um, here's the thing. This is not my favorite Fallen Men book, but there are some certain scenes from this, specifically like Lulu in the club kind of scene that it's like, <laughs> okay, love that. Um, Echo by Seven Rue. Okay, here's the thing. I don't like Seven Rue's books really, but this one was actually probably my favorite one that I've ever read from her. However, it's just like, it's very mid. It's like, yes, there's like multiple scenes where you would almost be like, it's like high levels of spice, but I would say it's not like necessarily like well written and like there's no emotion behind it. And it's like, for me, I want the emotion behind it. So that's going in mid. And lastly, I have, what is this one even called? Breathe by Abby Glein. So I read this very back early in my romance journey. I don't like these books. And if I'm remembering correctly, I think they're, I don't even think they have any spice in them. I think they're clean. Do I need a soap emoji? Okay, we got our first soap emoji. Oh. Oh no, can I not lay it over top? No, let me lay it over top of you. <gasps> that's such a, I was like, that's gonna be so cute, but it's trying to take the picture out. Okay, well, 
Okay, next up I have Lick by Kylie Scott. I love this series. One of like my first favorite rock star series that I've read. Also, I'm gonna move you guys a little closer because also I'm gonna be really small and like the little screen. So, okay, Lick by Kylie Scott. I really enjoy the series. However, I can't remember like anything memorable about the spice itself, which is fine. But that's why I think I'm going to put it down in vanilla. I just can't remember anything specifically about this one. So it's going to go down there. Bound by Duty, I'm going to put mid, honestly. Core Riley's books, I don't think, like, yes, they all have spice in them. But honestly, I don't think that that's, like, her strongest suit. Which, like, I don't care about because I like the stories and I like the characters. But it's just, like, very middle of the run kind of spice. Sweet by Aaron McCarthy. I think this one is also very vanilla. I don't remember anything specifically in this book either. And again, this is like a traditionally published one. And I feel like for the most part, or like at least from what I used to read, now I know like Bloom picked up the, what do you call it? The pre-series by Sierra Simone. That shit is wild. But this one specifically, I remember it being like pretty tame and pretty clean. Now Misbehaved by Charlie Rose. That's getting some rent-free action in my head. Okay, pulling up the next round. So we have Him by L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen. Okay. It kind of falls in the middle. I don't know. I'm going to put it in rent free for now. That might change. It might go down to mid. However, I do just remember like certain parts of this book being very like, oh, I didn't expect that. Especially from like El Candy. Because like, yes, in the off campus series, that has a certain level of steam, but I feel like they're not like super, super much. I don't know. I don't know. That one might switch. Um, Bully by Penelope Douglas. Okay, here's the thing Pen is one of the best writers in turn. Well, just in everything, in my opinion. But they also have some of the best spice. However, the Bully series, I feel like it's pretty tame. Or the Fallaway series is pretty tame. I'm going to put it in mid. A Lesson in Thorns. Honestly, I'm going to put it in mid. And whoever is watching this might be like, what are you doing putting that in there next to these? Here's the thing for me. I think I was so let down by A Lesson in Thorns. I don't really like this book that much. And I remember thinking, like, I remember hearing that this book was, like, the craziest stuff in it. Like, there, it follows six characters and that there were, like, things that the six of them did together. If I'm remembering correctly, there was like one scene at the end of the book and it didn't even have everyone involved. And I was just like, I just had higher expectations in terms of things. And also I didn't just like the story as well. Like just nothing really about this book worked for me overall. Um, so I'm putting that in mid because I, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't belong up here all the time. And Daddy's Angel by K.A. Knight. Okay, this one is kind of also tricky because this book, legitimately, every other chapter is them hooking up. It's insane. There is too much in it. Too, in my opinion, there's too much. And it just got very repetitive and boring and bland. So honestly, I'm going to put it in mid as well. Because here's the thing, you can't use too much because then it loses its value, you know? In my opinion. I love how I have to clarify in my opinion when this is literally my video full of my own personal opinions. Tell me you're always nervous about people coming after you without telling me you're always nervous about people coming after you. Um, no, oh my god, y'all, this is the best lineup right here. Okay, The Doctor, Lady God, it's the first amazing, beautiful, never done before. This book, Nikki Sloan just does something with this series. And The Doctor specifically is my favorite in the series. And I, I just, like, there are so many scenes in this book that are just up here, nonstop, all the time, every day. Well, not every day, but on a frequent basis that pop in here. Top tier, top tier spice. And it deserves Lady Gaga. It's not even like rent free. It is just like, it is like the blue. Like when I think of, if someone asks me like, what are some of your like go-to like hottest recommendations? That's one of them. Desperate Measures by Katie Robert. Okay. This is my favorite out of the Wicked Villain series. And there's this one scene with Jasmine, Jafar, and Meg. Unwell unwell and credence credence is going right up here credence is i'd say in terms of pen's books in my personal opinion it's my favorite spice wise it's not my favorite book of theirs but credence specifically has some of my favorite spice that pen has ever written it's so good and silver flames i'm gonna put run free um when they come out with the graphic audio of that book i will be thriving and i cannot wait to hear that headboard scene in graphic audio Okay, Spanish Love Deception, that one's getting vanilla. I remember seeing on TikTok people like freaking out about how hot this book was and then I read it and I was like, that was it. Because for me, it's just like, obviously when you're looking at some of these other books that I read, Spanish Love Deception is very tame for me. So I understand if like you don't read a lot of like 
darker and the grittier spicier romances that the Spanish Love Deception would be like wild for you but for me no it was very vanilla um sicko that is getting rent free it's very dark and there are quite a few scenes that are very dark but there are certain scenes otherwise like there's this one scene that's like entirely in the dark <gasps> are you joking puck me secretly by odette stone absolutely love this book five stars um but again it's kind of mid i don't really remember anything specifically i do remember their night after the plane crash and that was great but i feel like overall it's kind of like middle of the line and lastly twist by lucia franco amazing show stopping never done before never replicated it's my favorite book on the off balance series and it's not even just for this one certain i mean it kind of is because that scene there okay so there's like a 50 page scene if you know what i'm saying and before that 50 page scene is like a huge fight scene that kind of like bleeds over into the 50 page scene it is is it even 50 pages i don't know it's chapters long and it's amazing there it, obviously it's the fourth book in a series following one couple so there is so much building up to this point and like that boils over that it is just <gasps> truly show stopping to me show stopping okay pulling up the next round lessons in sin by pam godwin <laughs> here's the thing <laughs> Pam always delivers on a certain level, but almost like I think that some of these scenes live in my head more so for the fact because I get like secondhand embarrassment from certain scenes in this book. So I can't tell like, is it rent free because of that? Or is it rent free because it's like a maze? I don't know. I feel like though it doesn't fit being in mid. So I'm gonna put it in rent free. I wouldn't say like looking across the board here, it's not my favorites of them, you know? Uh, Gabriel's Inferno by Sylvan Reinhardt. I think this is a, cl it's a clean romance, right? They literally don't even hook up at all. No, oh, I'm pretty sure that's like completely clean because here's the thing. It's like built up, it's a student teacher romance and it's built up that she's like pure and all that garbage. And he's like, I'm gonna corrupt you, whatever. And then I'm like waiting for them. They're like going on this bougie trip at the end of the book and I'm like waiting for them to hook up and then it gets to the end of the book and I don't think they did, right? Or did they hook up? I don't know, whatever. It's vanilla if they did. Vibe by Liza James, they're, okay, here's the thing. I don't even know if it's like, because it belongs up there with some of the other ones because this it's not super heavily focused on the spice. However, the emotional and like, soul connection that these two characters had made all of their scenes together like completely electric and that made for them when they like finally got together I was like oh my god I was living in those moments so it's going up there because those characters just really like oh it just worked so well and forget me not by QB Tyler here's the thing I can't remember a single spice th scene in this book when I think of this book QB Tyler writes incredible spice again one of my favorites writing like steam However, like there are other ones of her books that I think about. And when I think of them, I think of certain like, you know, but this one, I, I think of like the emotional aspects of this book. And I don't, I truly can't remember like one specific scene of them like together, together. I more just remember all of their like really emotional moments. Cause it's like a marriage in trouble, amnesia, romance. They're struggling to like make their relationship work and like absolve the hurts that they've done to each other. So honestly, I think it's going to go in mid it's going mid. Like I said, though, this is not a reflection of how I rated these books. Cause uh, I just don't remember anything stand out about that one. If it was another QB Tyler book, though, like if it was always been you. Oh. Lady Gaga is here. Okay, next up, The Lady Gets Lucky by Joanna Shub. I'm also going to put this one in mid. Absolutely love this book. Five stars. So happy I read it. But uh, yeah, I think it's more like mid. It's more mid, but it's still amazing. Made for her by Honey Chanel. I mean, it's 40 pages of pure smut. And it's FF, and then there's like FFF in it. Wild. Game Plan by Macaulay Smelter. Uh, very vanilla. I don't like this book. I don't like it because it's like vanilla. I just don't like this book in general. Um, and yeah, the spice is very lackluster because I think the characters were super lackluster. Like there was no connection. And Does It Hurt by H.G. Carlton. Here's the thing. <laughs> The scene that I remember the most out of this is when they're quite literally hooking up and he holds her head underwater with sharks circling right there. So like, I guess it's rent free because I do think about that, but 
I don't know. Okay, this category is full, so I am gonna have to condense it, but also I do think that him is going to come down here. I just don't think that it's like at this, like when I'm now building this out, it just doesn't feel like it fits there. So I am gonna go ahead and move that and let's shuffle these around, but I probably am going to end up having to overlap these a little bit. Okay, we have our next group. The words rent free, Phoenix Walker can get it any day of the week. Heated rivalry, love this one. Oh my gosh, we can put our two MM hockey romances right next to each other. I do actually think heated rivalry is hotter, but once again, I feel like it does kind of fit with like these, where like these are just like doing something a little extra. These ones, yeah, they're they're good. They're solid. Wow, we got a lot of hockey romances in here too. Um, Eyes on Me by Sarah Kate. Okay, here's the thing. This book is exclusively going up here for that ending scene between Garrett and Mia where he's groveling and apologizes. <sighs> Garrett, amazing. Um, Something in the Way by Jessica Hawkins. This is another clean one. I genuinely don't think they hook, they, well, I know they don't hook up in this one. I don't think there's a single scene of like spice or even like things going very far either, right? It's, I think it's a clean romance. I don't think the series overall, like I think the other books maybe get into it more. It's like a sister's boyfriend. I saw him first kind of romance, but there's like an age gap. And so like nothing happens in this first one. It kind of builds up like their foundation, I think. Okay, red, white, and royal blue. This one is going, okay, it's kind of getting tricky down here. It's getting crowded, but red, white, and red, white, and royal blue is going in vanilla. Um, Because again, it's like a traditionally published. I think it's not YA, but I think it leans more into like the younger-ish, like maybe more like new adults, like very, I don't know. It's definitely not YA because I do remember there being like something, but I almost feel like is it fade to black? I don't know. Rent free, flawless. Okay, we're gonna have to condense some of these. Y'all might be like, are you really putting a cowboy romance in rent free? Here's the thing. There is one specific scene in here where she puts on chaps and I was like, why is this scene great? You know, why am I liking this chap scene? <laughs> But for some reason, it was just hot. That book was good. I did really like that book. I liked Heartless more, but that book was fun. Paper Princess by Aaron Watt. Here's the thing with this one. I read this one very early on in my romance journey. And once again, I remember reading this. And the thing that sticks out to me most about this book is there is a scene where she goes to a party and she gets she gets drugged with something not roofies I don't think it was something where it's almost like was it like ecstasy or something and then these dudes with her her like stepbrothers or whatever that she's living with they're like you're in a hyper induced state of horniness or something it was the most ridiculous thing ever so like that I remember so clearly I don't really remember what happened after that I just remember them saying that and like gasping because I'm like what just came out of all of y'all's mouths um I think it's gonna go in vanilla because here's the thing I don't really remember like much specifically about that I don't I don't know that book was just like a fever dream I feel like and Lady of Rooksgrave Manor is getting Lady Gaga tear that scene of them going to the circus amazing uh amazing love that whole that whole book is so fun the book itself I think I end up giving it like three and a half rounded up to four stars like the book itself I did enjoy it's not like a favorite of mine however the spice is like out of this world insane okay um Waking Olivia by Elizabeth O'Rourke this one is going in vanilla love this book but yeah it's just like not super spicy which is totally cool it's just that's where it's fallen. Stroke of Midnight by Kay Webster, rent free. <laughs> a lot of fun. There's a lot of like praise and degradation in this one. So if that's not your thing, then like you probably won't like this because it's very heavy on that with their dynamic. Me personally, love that. And Lilac by BB Reed. Okay, here's the thing. It's go oh shoot, because this one came after this one. Okay, let's rearrange those. Okay, Lilac by BB Reed. It's also going to run free. Here's the thing though. I remember so much of this book. I don't like love this book. I did enjoy it. Here's the thing with it. I remember that whenever she like ex had like a strong feeling, she had like a, like a taste reaction to things. She would be like, when she would be like, you know, with the dudes and something would be happening, she'd be like, I taste like a cherry explosion across my tongue. And I would be like, what does that, like what? I thought it was just like an interesting, very different way of like describing certain things. And then it was like at the end of the book, then it's just thrown in there that like, oh, she has this one certain thing where she like literally tastes emotions or something. And I just wish that maybe we would have got that earlier because that would have explained more because for so long I was like, this is just like confusing me why this is even like a thing. I don't know. 
Okay, we got five left. I'm gonna just pull them up one by one because I have them here. Okay, here's the thing. I would love to put this one up here, but it just like, it doesn't stand up up there. So it's gonna go in run free because I listened to the audio of this one and listening to Teddy Hamilton narrate specifically this one scene between him and Banner that's towards the end of the book. I was listening to that. I think when I was like grocery shopping and I was like, I should not be listening to this out in public right now. And I literally paused it because I was like, I can't be listening to this while I'm just trying to like, pick out food. Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. This is another clean one. So here actually, I didn't think that we would have that many in this bottom category, but we actually do have quite a few. So let's put it down here. I absolutely love Magnolia Parks. Five stars, one of my favorite books I read last year. However, I do think that it would be, you know, I would appreciate a little spice between BJ and Magnolia, but it's fine. It doesn't need it. I would just, you know, have liked it. And you know what, let's just pull all three of these up because I don't think any of them are going in this top category. So we can kind of put them up here. Okay, um, Scoring Wilder by R.S. Gray. This one is getting vanilla. I don't remember anything specific. It's, I, it's not a clean one, but I don't remember. It's like very like low spice, low heat kind of book. First Comes Blood by Lilith Vincent. Wild, wild shit, rent free rent free here's the thing this book is insane it's about this one girl whose dad like offers her up to marry these four dudes in the mafia and they have like a year to kind of like court her while she finishes her senior year of high school so when she's graduates she's like arranged to marry one of them however the one that she gets chosen to marry she doesn't want she doesn't want to marry any of them but she especially doesn't want to marry the one and then the other three have a fallout from the ones and the other three kind of try to like help her wild unhinged but like i love little Vincent's books because they just like fun you just have to like suspend your disbelief with them but once you do they're just like so much fun and lastly the ritual by Chantel Tessier this one is also going to get rent free here's the thing sabotage would be up here in the Lady Gaga category because sabotage is just oh, next level but the ritual is really insane and really hot too so it's going there okay anyways that is my final rankings I think that all looks good there so anyways I don't know if anyone's gonna have liked this video. As I was filming, I was kind of like, is this, is this even working? I don't know, whatever. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I actually don't know if this is going to go up on Friday or Tuesday because I am pre-filming a couple of videos because I'm gonna be going in on vacation soon. So this will be up and it'll be up. But anyways, that is it for today's video and I will see you when I see ya.